Are you curious about what the cosmic energy of 2024 will mean for your business? Join my free Cosmic Business Forecast event happening in January, where I'll talk you through the major astrological events you need to know so you can prepare your business to meet the opportunities and challenges of the year head on. You can sign up for free at sophiapalace.com forward slash 2024 dash forecast. Welcome to the Cosmic Business Breakthrough Podcast. I'm your host, Sophia Pallas, and this podcast is for soulful entrepreneurs who want to harness the cosmic power of astrology to elevate their message, unlock flow, and attract their best clients ever. Join me every week and get excited to discover how you can use the energy of the cosmos to get the business breakthrough you've been waiting for. Welcome to 2024. We made it here. Can you believe it? And with Mercury out of retrograde and Mars in its super powered position in Capricorn right now until mid February, it is time to get down to business. In fact, now is the perfect time to plan your year and tackle the things you've put in the too hard basket for too long. This is what Mars and Capricorn is all about. And that's why in today's episode, I want to explore how aligning your marketing activities or your marketing plan with cosmic events is going to give your strategy and your plan this powerful boost. We're going to discuss three ways to harness the energy of the cosmos and align it with your marketing plan for maximum impact in 2024. And on that note, just a reminder that I'm running a 2024 Cosmic Business Forecast event next week on Friday, January 19th. This is where I'll take you through all the major cosmic events of the year so you can be prepared and optimize your activities in line with the astro energy. To access this, all you have to do is register on my website, sophiapalace.com forward slash 2024 dash forecast and you can join live or watch the replay for free so all you have to do to get access to that whether live or the replay version is register on my website the link will be in the show notes as well but i've tried to make it as simple as possible so you can be there and you can access this all righty then let's get started. Let's first talk about how cosmic events in general influence marketing or business activities. If you are new here, I love you. Thank you for joining us. And if you've been here for a while, I love you too. So grateful for your support and for listening to the show. But if you need a refresher on this, a cosmic event is a significant planetary alignment or a lunar event, like a full moon, a new moon, or an eclipse, right? This is the kind of event I'm talking about. What are the planets doing? So favorable planetary alignments are things like, for instance, the planet Mercury, our planet of communication and commerce, aligning with the planet Jupiter, the planet of abundance and expansion and wisdom in the sky, When those two planets align in a positive way, so something like in astrological terms, a trine or a sextile or a conjunction, this can give a boost to our business and marketing efforts. Mercury and Jupiter connected. That is a wonderful combo for business, especially, I think, online business. But if you have a challenging alignment, like, for example, Saturn, our planet of restriction and boundaries, square Mars, our planet of action, our planet of entrepreneurship and drive. If you have a square, which is a challenging aspect, a square or an opposition, that can make things a little more tricky because it's a crunchy, combative or sticky energy. 
So these are the things to look out for in the sky that can have an influence on your marketing and business activities. Lunar phases can also impact people's energy and emotions. As you know, if you've done any workshops with me, or if you've listened to my podcast on the moon, the new moon tends to be a lower energy time, while the full moon, at the full moon, our emotions are heightened. It's a climactic time, right? Our emotions are heightened. Potentially our energy is heightened at that time. So there can be a bit more buzz in the air when it's a full moon. So that can affect your marketing activities. So if you know when these certain cosmic events are happening, you can work with that timing. You can work with it to access that energy or avoid it and therefore improve the potential for your business activity or marketing efforts to go well. So just as a a practical example of this, If I'm putting something important out there or running an event, I love to see a great aspect from Mercury, Jupiter or Mars. All of these can give a real boost to your efforts and just make things work a little easier and allow you to get that bit more traction. It also helps a lot if you have the moon in a good position, Venus in a good position, like there are a lot of things to consider, but I particularly love a strong Mercury, Jupiter or Mars aspect for business, for getting that momentum going. So the second step, I guess, or the second thing to know to harness cosmic energy for your marketing plans is to align marketing campaigns with your own astrological energy. So the beauty of astrology is not just knowing what's going on out there in the universe, in the cosmos, it's also knowing how that might be impacting or influencing your own specific energy and your own opportunities, timing opportunities, right? If you understand a bit about your chart, you can work with certain aspects the planets are making to your personal astrology chart or your personal cosmic blueprint, however you choose to see it. This is the kind of thing I will specifically work with clients on if we do something like an intensive session together or they're in my support, my cosmic business support container. This is gold when you know how the planets are impacting you personally and therefore your business energy, that is a game changer. For example, if you know you have a powerful midheaven activation coming up, which one of my clients has right now, You can work with this energy to really boost your public reputation because listen to my Midheaven episode for more on this, but the Midheaven represents our public reputation sector, what we are known for, our work in the world, basically. So if you know you've got this activation coming up, think about connecting with the right people, put energy into growing your public reputation, your public standing in some way, because the energy is really there to support that. Whose podcast can you get on? Who can you get visible with? Because this is a visibility. The midheaven is a visibility energy. You know, what can you do to create more legacy in your business as well? Because that's what that energy is about. It might be a great time to launch something or to set something up in your business for the long term, because that's what that midheaven or 10th house energy wants us to do. It is about our authority, our credibility in business and our legacy in business. So how can you work with that? How can you boost your credibility in some way? Another great aspect for marketing campaigns is a mercury activation, which I've sort of touched on earlier. Maybe you have Venus aspecting your personal mercury. So that Venus aspect offers sweetness. It offers delight. It offers pleasure. It offers opportunity to that Mercury. It may make your words especially well received at that time if you've got a Venus, a good Venus aspect to your Mercury. I mean, most Venus aspects are good because we consider Venus to be a benefic planet. So even if it's a a Venus square Mercury, a square aspect would normally be considered challenging. But from Venus, we still get a little bit of benefit from that. It might heighten something around our communication in a good way. It might bring more 
fun and frivolity to our communication in some way because Venus loves to have fun. It loves pleasure. But, you know, having a great aspect from Venus to Mercury could give you a real boost in terms of how your words are received, how your words sound to people. Like Venus improving the sweetness of those words. It can also boost sales in that sense too because things feel better with that Venus to the people who are consuming your words. Things feel better. They feel juicier. That's kind of energy that we love to see. So we've talked about Venus. We've briefly touched on Jupiter. Jupiter connecting with your Mercury or Mercury connecting with your Jupiter, but I prefer Jupiter connecting with your personal Mercury can be great for a launch. This can really help you expand the reach of your campaign because Jupiter comes along and expands what it connects with and it can expand abundance or it can expand a message. So that is a great energy for a launch. However, if you know you have a tricky or restrictive Saturn activation or if Mars is in a challenging position, for instance, in a retrograde, you might want to avoid running a new campaign at that time. Saturn activations and Mars can be really good for doing the grunt work, getting things done that you've been putting off or getting things done that need to be kind of dealt with. Like it's got a serious tone to it, right? A Saturn activation or a challenging Mars aspect. There might be a bit more work involved, but the payoff may be bigger. But it's not necessarily a great time for sales, right? If you've got a challenging Saturn or Mars aspect, that can be difficult. It's not necessarily a great time for marketing. The message isn't necessarily getting to the right people or getting out there in the right way. You might feel a little bit restricted with your message, with your promotions. So avoiding those restrictive Saturn or Mars activations can be helpful. And focusing the timing around those beneficial activations of Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, and Mars. Now, there are lots of ways you can track your own astro energy. You can use apps like the Chani app. Love the Chani app. I talk about it all the time on here. You can use something like the pattern, although I look at the pattern. I don't love the pattern, but it is still something that can give you a little bit of insight into what's going on for you astrologically. Or something like CoStar. If you're really into astrology, you want to have a, a proper astrology app on your phone, something like Time Passages. I use Time Passages because it is made for iOS. It's made for Apple. But there are other options too if you want to go deeper and have a proper astro app on your phone where you can run charts. But ultimately, if you're just looking at your own astro energy, the Chani app, still my number one app, still my favorite app. Really great at helping you look at what's going on for you and understand it, interpret it in a, in a way that makes sense, a way that's simple to follow. Or the best thing you can do is consult with an astrologer to get an even more in-depth understanding of what's going on for you. Get a forecast type reading. This is the kind of work I love to do with my clients. I don't call it a forecast reading because this is the work that I do. You know, we're looking at timing all the time. We're looking at what's going on for them that could be beneficial for their business. It is so illuminating and helpful in planning the year. Okay, and the third thing I want to talk about when it comes to harnessing cosmic energy for your marketing plan is using the energy of retrogrades for reflection, rebranding, and revising. I've talked about this on my episodes on Mercury retrograde or Mars retrograde. You can go check that out. But in a nutshell, the concept of a retrograde planet, that the idea of this planet moving backwards in the sky from our perspective, is that it's all about reflection. It's all about looking back on what we've already done. It's about introspection. It's about revision, revising, and really making things better, right? So aligning your rebranding or your revision or your recreation, restructuring efforts 
around retrogrades can be a great opportunity for refinement. You can make things a lot better if you work with this retrograde energy. For instance, you've got a, you've got a course that you've been running for years or, or you know, you've run it a few times. Using that retrograde energy to go back over the content and revamp it in some way, make it better, make it stronger, make the delivery of the course better, make the testimonials stronger, like wherever you can improve the content and the marketing of that course retrograde energy is a great time to do that it will really allow you to go a little bit further in terms of the revision and the reflection on that content you can also use that time to do audits content audits or schedule your marketing plan so that you make time for content audits for funnel audits for sales page audits make time to do heat mapping on your sales page make time to check the connection of your funnel, make sure it's, you know, working properly, make sure your sales page is set out in the best way possible. Do an SEO audit. Great time to do an SEO audit when Mercury is retrograde. Get feedback from people in this time. Explore the new creative potential. Explore the options, especially Mercury is retrograde. You get plenty of times to do this across the year. Three or four times a year, Mercury is retrograde for a couple of weeks. So work with that time. I would encourage you, and I say this all the time, don't put something new out during a Mercury retrograde. Not new. Something old, or not old, but something you've done before that has been revamped, that works. Something new, not great timing for that. You want to work with a different astro aspect to launch something new into the world. Okay, so to wrap this up, the three ways, the three key ways to harness cosmic energy to nail your marketing plan in 2024, you want to understand the cosmic energy at play, understand the alignments of the planets. First up, what's going on in this, in this cosmos, in the sky? Then you want to look at how does this connect with your own personal astrology chart? How is this affecting you personally and what can you do with that energy? That's where the gold is. And three, work with retrograde times. Work with retrograde times to revise, to revamp, to redo stuff that needs revision, basically, that needs refinement. All right, thank you for listening. If you want to explore upcoming cosmic influences so you can set up more powerful marketing plans in 2024, don't forget to register for my forecast event coming up at the end of this month. If you want to take it further, book a strategic intensive with me. I have restructured the way I I run my strategic intensives now. You can book a two or a three hour session, depending on how deep, how much work you want to do. You do get a questionnaire before we meet. I do work before we meet to really understand your business, what's going on for you, how we can work with your cosmic energy to improve things over the course of the year. And you will walk away with a report with recommendations that you can implement over the next six to 12 months. This is such a powerful session. It goes deeper than my Cosmic Business Breakthrough session. This is a strategic intensive to really help you map out your year ahead, your six months to a year in business. All right. Wishing you a fantastic start to 2024. And I will see you at my forecast event. I hope if not catch the replay, I'll talk to you really soon. Thanks for joining me on the Cosmic Business Breakthrough. If you'd like to learn more about what I do, head to sophiapalace.com or follow me at Sophia Palace over on Instagram. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, I'd love for you to take a moment and review the show if you found it helpful and share it with a few friends. Thanks again, and I'll speak to you next time.